Hey, I'm Sharon Dawn. Welcome back. Um, today I'm in my red journal and I'm in my hard copy instead of my art journal because I've been working in both of them. And at the back of the uh, printed copies is a whole lot of pages that are draw like a child or write from within. And these are to let us explore who we are and let it come out. And today I felt like just doing a basic drawing that I want to share with you. So let's go. So I'm in on page just draw like a child. And I've got myself just a watercolour pencil. And I'm just going to do a couple of light marks. And because I'm going to do the picture in ink and watercolour. So I'm just going to ignore the little smiley face down the bottom. Just make a few lines just for fun. And then we're going to put a big sun in. And then we'll just do some rays off. Again, remember it's just about being loose. There's no definites on anything. Just pop some lines in. And then all we're going to do is just put some other lines in. Basically, what I'm doing is going for the effect of a um, stained glass window of the sun rising over the hills. So now that we've got a few lines, I'm not sure if you can see them, and we're going to get our watercolours. And I think we'll start with a my nice messy palette. So we're going to pop some green in. And I'm just going to just let it flow. It's not the best paper, although I've managed to get a thicker paper for this journal compared with what we'd normally have. It's still not ideal for um, watercolours. They don't run overly smooth on it, which is a bit disappointing, but to get something that was strong enough, or thick enough I should say, is um, would, would just make it impractical to buy. So you're, if you're wanting to do more watercolour in your art journal, or in your on your red journal um, and make it more like an art journal then I suggest you do the um, purchase the a, a proper art journal and then um, stick the pages of the red in and work with it like that but anyway it's all fun and that's what it's all about just having a bit of fun so I'm just putting different colors Again, as you've already worked out with me, I don't worry too much about whether it's messy or not because, you know, I just enjoy just throwing it on and seeing what happens. So let's, um, let's make a sun. We'll just clean up that yellow a little bit. It's a little bit dirty. Put our sun in. rather interesting doing these videos with a camera in front of you as you're trying to paint. It does give it a little bit more of a challenge um, and to see how it works out but we're getting used to it which is a bit strange too. But anyway, um, maybe a bit of yellow there. I'm just gonna, I'm just plonking some on and then we might go for a little bit of a darker yellow. Let's Maybe get that in there. Who knows what this is going to turn out like. But that's actually rather what I enjoy about it. You know, you can really worry about these things. But the way I look at it is it's just a piece of paper. And... Although we do like to keep our books looking pretty or everything, 
you know, if it really turns out bad and I really don't like it, I could stick a piece of paper over it and get rid of it. You notice how I've just let that bleed into there, into the sun, because again, that actually, I'll just give it a little bit more of a, a bleed, I think, a bit of water in there, let that go through. But you know, this is the fun side of it. It's just, with watercolours, what will it do? And like I said, Sarah, it's very hard to get it running how a watercolour should on this paper. Um, but again, you know, that gives us another technique again, doesn't it? Another. And when you're working with watercolours, when you're on the, the right sort of paper, um, you would work out in advance which ones you wanted to put in that would dry and which ones you would let bleed into each other because it, it is a big feature of watercolours to be able to bleed um, and also give the sort of transparency that goes on here but it depends on the look that you're trying to achieve with any painting because as you can see like just doing it like that it's given it lines and putting more paint on really just um, makes the paper go yucky on, on this style of paper but again let's just see what happens and let's just go with it and I'm going to use a little bit of that mix there because I really like that colour and I'll put a bit of that down there too well, as you can see there's not a lot of talent needed to do anything like this it is literally, and we're not drawing like a child, but we're certainly painting like one. How cool is that? There you go. And I think we just missed a spot down there in green. So let's just find a dark, oh, we might even do it with a bit of purple in it. Maybe a little bit more purple. Alright, now we're going to let that dry. Now that our paint's dry, we're just going to use my favourite permanent ink again and just put some lines in. And we might need a slightly thicker pen, but I'm just going to see if this one will do the job for us. And the reason I wanted to do this little image today was I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do something. It doesn't take much. It's just a simple five minute, have fun, take the time out to do something that just makes you feel creative. I could get a ruler and do straight lines, but as you already know, I don't do that. So I'll just finish this off and we'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, I've finished my image. I've got my little picture coming through, which I quite like too. So there's my ray of sunshine. Only took a few minutes and in that, in that time, it's just, it's meditative. Just relax with it. You could see you don't need to be fussy. You could see you could just do it as you please. And look, I've even missed the line there, so we'll just put that in. And you can really do whatever you like. So there you have it. I've finished my image with all my black lines. I'm happy with that. That's my little ray of sunshine for the day. It only took a few minutes. It was fun. It's, it's mindful practice. And it just stops the chatter in your brain. So it's a really cool thing to do. And you don't need to have anything perfect. As I keep saying. And I will keep saying. Because I think that is where we get stuck more than anything. Trying to be perfect. Um, I'll just show you it has bled through unfortunately on the pages. Although I have got thicker paper in the journal. It's still not as thick as an art journal. So 
you know, if that's a problem for you, then go with the art journals. Otherwise, you look at that and you go, well, what can I do with that? And next time do something else. All right. So enjoy your project and I look forward to seeing you on the private Facebook group Creating Vision Journals Together. And if you like these little videos, just have a look down the bottom and subscribe. Catch you next time.